So hello there, my name's Dan Lemaitre, and welcome to review. And in this review, I'll be looking at Clockwork Bill and Ben in the Hornby Thomas the Tank Engine range, and these have both been discontinued now, unfortunately. And uh, in most of my Hornby reviews, I tend to sort of talk about and say what I think about the models, and then have a bit of a run on them. Um, however, I won't be running these ones. I'm going to be keeping these ones in the box. Uh, the reason being, as you can probably see, is uh, these ones. Obviously, once you take them out of the box, um, you can't get them back in again. Unfortunately, they're not like the other Hornby ones that you can take in and out of the box so easily. And some of the Backman ones, although again, with a lot of the Backman ones that I mainly collect in the HO scale, unfortunately, you do have to end up destroying the box. Although I have found a way that you can cut round the box so that you can take the models in and out, as I have discussed before. Um, but like I said, these are the um, Hornby Clockwork ones, although if you look on the back and it shows you all the other ones you can buy, so where all the ones that have the key underneath, um, so like Thomas, Percy, uh, Toby and Bill and Ben, uh, they're obviously the ones that are clockwork and powered, obviously then you've got the trucks and Annie and Clarabelle that aren't powered, obviously being rolling stock they can't move unless an engine pushes or pulls them. Um, however, so, so I won't be taking these ones out of the box, however I do also have um, a set that I brought at the end of March, um, a clockwork one, and it's got Thomas and Ben in it, um, so I will be running that one, um, so I'll be running that model of Ben, but I say this one of Ben will be staying in the box, um, and that, and there is actually, and saying so, they never made a clockwork set to my knowledge that had Bill in it, um, like I said, this is the only one of Bill that I believe you could get in the clockwork range, but obviously it's good they did two of them. Um, however, Hornby did do an electric train set with Thomas and Bill, but like I said, not a clockwork one. And like I said, I have actually got the clockwork Thomas and Ben set, which I will be reviewing at some point this year. I mean, my plan sort of is, with my videos, is that during the sort of summertime and when all the railway galas are on, when there's a lot of rail tours, I go out filming them. And then during the winter months, I tend to sort of do reviews and that when you can't go out as much because either the weather's not very nice or there's not as much running. Although in recent years, I suppose, maybe because of cost of living, obviously um, COVID and that beforehand, um, you know, there wasn't as many rail tours or as good stuff running. But last few months, I'm sure you'll agree, I've been out filming uh, quite a lot. Had some really nice days out and seen some nice things. So I've been, and I think this year already, I mean, we're already in May now and I think I count myself quite lucky of what I've seen so far this year. You're not even quite halfway through the year yet. Um, but anyway, moving back on to Bill and Ben. Um, I've got them in the Hornby electric range as well. And the bodies, the actual main bodies of both the models, from what I can see, are both exactly the same. Uh, the only real difference is is the couplings on the front and back of them. They're different on the clockwork ones to what they are on the electric ones. So the coupling uh, arrangement is different. And also, if you look at the wheels, uh, the wheels are plastic on the clockwork ones, with, and you can just about see on the back rear wheels, uh, they've got traction tyres, where the other ones on the electric ones are metal wheels um, and no traction tyres. Um, so the wheels are obviously same, slightly different, obviously being one being clockwork, and obviously the clockwork one ones are on a different type of track uh, as well, as you can see, obviously from my set that I've got here. Um, and I do like these models of Bill and Ben. I mean, I think Bill and Ben are always my favourite ones, but I think, unfortunately, one that I've not been able to find in the clockwork range is Toby. And Toby was one of my favourite characters, so it would have been, not, or hopefully maybe at some point I'll be able to find one, because I have got Toby in the, in the Hornby Electric range anyway. Um, so, so I have got Toby, um, but to say just not the clockwork one. But it'd be nice to get that at some point. But anyway, um, I feel quite lucky to have Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben were always two of my favourite characters. And again, when you look at the wheels of them, uh, they're black. Uh, originally, when Bill and Ben appeared in the TV series, uh, the wheels were black. Um, however, when they came back to the CGI animated series, uh, the wheels were red. And as I said before, I'm not as keen on the CGI animated series, but I did think that they looked a lot more detailed. And other characters that came back uh, definitely a lot more detailed. Uh, and you've probably also seen I've got Bill and Ben in the Backman range. Again, um, I really do like the Backman ones. I think the scale of them is a lot better because the problem with the Hornby ones is they're much too large and like you have problems getting them in and out of sheds, uh, past platforms and things like that. Whereas with the Backman ones, you don't get that problem. Uh, and also as well, something that I've noticed on... Um, the, obviously both the clockwork one and the electric one is the back of the cabs are painted yellow whereas they should actually be brown 
and so like I said they've not done that on the Hornby model but also it's the same on their both their Ertel models as well they've painted it yellow but then on the sides they've painted the correct brown colour on the so on like the wood the wood sort of colour on the sides on both the Hornby and on the Ertel models so I so say they painted them correct there and I'm sure if they'd have painted them properly on the back they wouldn't have gone over budget and again that's what I probably like about the back one ones as well the fact that they've got the colour right on the back of them uh, all the way around and obviously Bill and Ben are actually based upon uh, two real engines called Alfred and Judy and you can see from these photos here uh, that I've used uh, so I've screenshotted from Wikia um, they are very very small engines and again when you compare them in like the illustrations and that and TV series next to the other engines they are very small engines Bill and Ben and I would actually like to go and see them in real life um, Alfred um, is currently under overhaul but Judy's running but it'd be nice to go and see them someday but that'll be something for the future um, again I like the faces on these models of Bill and Ben because they look very much like their faces in the TV series so they've got that correct as well uh, and like I said I'm going to be keeping these ones in the box because it's not like um, I mean, they, you know, these weren't, I wouldn't say these were cheap. They weren't too expensive, but they weren't cheap either, obviously being quite rare. But when they're rare, I don't mind, you know, paying a little bit more. Um, and obviously it's not like I can just go out and buy some more tomorrow, because like I say, unfortunately, Hornby don't make them anymore. And um, I guess I've got these really, because obviously I collect all things Hornby, mainly in the Thomas Rangers. I've got most of it already. And these were, these were great addition as well. And also as well, I mean, I've been talking about obviously the model railway and that. At the beginning of this year, I moved house as well. Uh, and I'm not going to say when, because I don't want to sort of make a promise and break it. But at some point, there will, I will actually have a proper model railway uh, running now, because I've actually got a room dedicated for the model railway. Um, so there will be more model railway reviews and hopefully running in that. And I might even have some like running sessions and things like that as well. And I've got the model railway running properly as well. Not just uh, on the floor like I've done in previous videos. But I mean that was the panel way along whenever I did get my own place. Which I have now uh, to do the model railway. But there's other stuff in the house that needs doing first. Which is more of a priority. Um, so it will take as long as it takes. But I'm sure it will all be worth the wait. Um, you know, good things are worth waiting for. Another thing that's very slightly different about these models, um, so obviously, like I said, the bodies are exactly the same. Uh, they're both more or less the same size. But like I said, the wheel arrangements, the wheels are obviously different on both of them, as I discussed earlier. But there's a little, if you look very carefully in this photo here, there's like a little metal lever sticking out the bodywork, where there's a little hole, and um, that's basically um, so that like an on-off switch. So obviously, you can wind it off, wind it up, and keep it on off. And then obviously, once you've wound it up, you can switch it on, and then the local will start running around. Um, but like I said, I'm going to keep this in the box, and it means you know I collect the Ertel ones and other die-cast um, cars and things like that, and I keep them in the box. Um, they're quite rare, you know, from a collector's point of view. So, so I'll be keeping these ones in the box, so I won't be running them. But like I said, I do intend to run uh, the other clockwork set that I've got another time as well. And I'm, I should be making that video at some point this year. Um, I mean, this year already. I'm not going to share all my plans, but I know that I've got a few other uh, trips planned to preserve railways and things like that. Um, so obviously, you know, keep please keep watching my channel and that. And thanks, obviously, for, if you have subscribed so far. Now I've got over 3,000 subscribers, uh, which I never thought would happen. Um, but, you know, I believe if you do what you're passionate about, um, you know, subscribers come along and that, and people enjoy your videos more. That's what I've always said. Um, like I said, Bill and Ben have always been my favourite characters in the obviously the Railway series and that. And I suppose I like them because they're quite small um, tank engines and that. So if I was to give these models of Bill and Ben a score, the clockwork ones, I mean, when I did my previous review on the electric ones, I gave them an 8.5 out of 10. And um, pretty much all the things that I pointed out, my sort of criticisms of the models, so like I say, the cap, back of the cap being yellow, uh, when it should be brown, and just the, the size and the width for them uh, in general, um, is obviously exact, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so I've given them an 8.5 out of 10 again, which I think is fair and reasonable. And uh, also in obviously Hornby, uh, obviously latest news, it was announced that Simon Kohler um, is going to be leaving Hornby. And um, I found out in an article that he actually started off his career, uh, sort of like with Hornby if you like, he actually 
work behind the counter at the model shop in Northampton, which isn't all that far away from me. Uh, I live in Wellingborough. Um, but anyway, um, he actually started his career at the model shop in Northampton. Like I said, that's not all that far away from me, and I actually I actually work not too far away from there because I work in Northampton. Um, anyway. And so I've got a lot of stuff in the model shop over the years. Um, it is a really nice model shop. Uh, and one of the models I do remember getting there is Murdoch, who's obviously quite rare as well, well now. Um, and I haven't actually brought many model railway stuff from Hornby because, um, for me, the prices, um, in my opinion, are quite extortionate. Some of the ones I would like to get that are not Thomas, um, but I so say I will hopefully save and get some eventually. Um, but like I said, they are uh, extremely expensive, unfortunately. Um, so I'm hoping maybe the prices might go down now, uh, who knows, but I mean I do think their models look nice but I say the problem is the cost and I'm sure, you know, I know it's not just me, I know other people have said the exact same thing as well um, you know, it is a very uh, expensive hobby um, but I mean thankfully I've got a lot of my stuff um, already and got stuff where it was an offer and things like that and deals so um, yeah, so I look forward to when I do actually get to do my proper model where I lay out Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, goodbye. Thanks for watching.